We can use AI to predict uh, how energy fluctuates, uh, especially as we get more solar and wind generation. Uh, that becomes really important uh, to make best use of those assets and minimise the use of carbon generating assets. But once we've done that, uh, that opens up a whole new set of business networks that might need to emerge uh, to compensate people, for example, for using less energy when the uh, energy has got a higher carbon uh, CO2 content in it. There's significant change in the energy industry. Things like customer switching, multiple sources of energy, battery and electrical vehicle storage, changing demand profiles. Data has a key role to play in integrating and joining up the legacy systems of today, bringing that together to enable new marketplaces. The energy sector is at this real turning point as we decarbonise and move to the future. And I think digital and data and those data analytics and that kind of automation and control is really key to being able to make that transition. And climate change is coming and is, is a really important driver for all of this. So this is a real opportunity to come into this sector and push it forward and have a real genuine impact with, with the work you're doing every day. So I'd certainly recommend people come into this sector and develop a career going forward because there's lots of work to be done and it's very exciting. The job opportunities are huge. Um, it could be right the way from doing organisational design and user experience work. You could be the data scientists that are creating these fantastically complicated algorithms that allow the system to operate as a whole. Or you could be kind of pushing the frontiers and you could be doing work in and around, well, how do we take the billion or so people that don't have access to energy? How can we help those people and move them into something that you know they, they don't currently have and they can have in the future?